Implantable devices to improve hearing have been in existence for more than 20 years. The surgery is delicate and is performed under general anesthesia, usually taking between two and four hours. The incision is made behind the ear, through the skin and muscle, to expose the mastoid bone with its sturdy covering of periosteum. A flap is cut into the periosteum and a pocket is created between the bone and the parosteal layer to hold the internal receiver device. The surgeon drills a small well in the bone which will hold the device in place and allow it to be flush with the skin. Small holes are made to later help secure the device in a correct position with sutures. The surgeon drills through the mastoid bone, called the mastoidectomy, and creates a small opening called a facial recess to gain access to the middle ear. A small hole is made through the thick bony wall of the cochlea, called a cochleostomy, for insertion of the electrode array. The soft and flexible electrode array is guided through the cochleostomy and deep into the cochlea. The device is placed in the previously created pocket and secured with sutures. Electrical equipment may be used to check the integrity of the electrodes. The incision is closed with stitches and the head bandaged overnight. Once the patient has recovered from anesthesia, they can be discharged home. Approximately 10 days after the surgery, the surgical site is checked. After allowing the incision to heal for three to five weeks, the device can be activated and the process of mapping hearing programs begins.